everyone, this is Yolanda from the Offcrafts channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this um, big rose. Um, it's just done in a little strip and then sewn together. I um, shared this hat that I made for a friend of mine for her baby uh, on my Facebook page. And a lot of you guys really liked it. So this tutorial will be how to do the flower. For this flower, I did something a little bit different. I didn't sew it on here. I used one of these jewelry findings and you can find different kinds of clips. This I got at Michael's. Um, actually, you would probably want a bigger clip than this one. The one This one is one inch, but you probably want maybe a bigger one. So what I did is that I actually sewed the pin here. And so that way you could take it off to wash the hat and then um, pin it back on or you could use it on different things. You could put it on your uh, on a bag, on a maybe wallet, on a maybe a lapel on your sweater and then you just remove it when you're going to wash it and then put it back on. So this is really easy. You just put it on the position you would want then and just make sure you're careful that you're not going to hurt the baby. And I always just pin it like, I don't put the pin through the other side if you could see it just kind of flipped it through there a little bit but it's not going to bother the baby or a, or you or whoever's wearing it and then you put it right there um it's pretty big so i hope you'll enjoy this tutorial please be sure to subscribe hit the like button and let's get the party started okay everyone to begin the uh, hat here i wanted to measure it for you it is uh, the, excuse me, the, the flower, not the hat, a little over four inches wide or about 10 centimeters. So in order for me to get that big size, I am using a medium weight yarn. I'm doing it in pink, but since this is a rose, you could do it in yellow or white or, you know, whichever, or variated yarn, whichever color you like. Um, I guess roses come in a lot of different colors now. So here I'm using a size J hook, which is a number 10. It's six 0 0.0 millimeters to begin since it's such a big hat it's pretty big I'm going to begin by making 74 chains so if you wanted it a little bit smaller you could put less chains so you just begin with your little loop here put that in there so I put this is kind of really close there so then of course your chains you just want to make sure you're able to slide it back and forth just going to grab your yarn and do 74 chains. So I'm going to do my 74 chains and then we'll come back and work on the first row. Okay, so here I have finished my 74 chains. So to begin, this little loop here does not count as a chain. So here's the first chain, second chain, beginning in the second chain and every stitch across, I'm going to do a half double crochet. To do a half double crochet, you yarn over, meaning that I wrap the yarn around my hook. Let me wrap this here. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hook. I'm going to go into the second chain, one, two, so right here. And I'm going to pull out my yarn. I'll have three loops on my hook, one, two, three, and then I pull through all three loops just like that and when you go into the chain you don't want to go into this top part but you're going to go into this little bottom portion here meaning not here but into the bottom there so here once again I'm going to do it in a well, half double crochet and every stitch all the way across so here yarn over and go in here and just like that if you want, you could do it a single crochet, but then it's harder. I have found it to be harder when I'm trying to sew the bottom. If you do the half double crochet, it gives you a little bit more of a base to grab. So here, I'm going to go all the way across and do a half double crochet in every stitch. Just like that. Yarn over, go into the chain, right there, pull out. You'll have three loops, pull through all three. And it should look like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish all my half double crochets all the way across. Okay, I'm coming to my last stitch here. So I'm just yarning over. And then here is my last half double crochet. So I have my whole little chain here. Now to go up here, um, I'm going to chain only one. Excuse me, I'm sorry. This is on um, the first one here to begin. We're going to chain three. One, two, 
and three. I'm going to turn my work over. And here, let me see if I could get closer so you could see better. So you chain three. This is going to count as our first stitch. So I'm going to go one, two, and then on the third stitch, because I'm going to, this is not counting as one, but here, one, two, three. I'm going to do a single crochet into that stitch just like that. So let me show you just like that. So then you have like, this is, we look at it as one, two, three, and then on the next one. Now I'm going to chain three again, one, two, three, and if you are one short or whatever, don't get too, too worried here. One, two, on the third one, go in there, third stitch, and you do your single crochet. So you're doing little openings just like that, okay? One more time, one, two, three, and then you count here, one, two, and on the third chain, you go through both loops, not just the front or back, and you're going to have these little loops here all the way across. You're going to continue that until you do your last stitch. So here's one, two, and three. See how I'm going through both loops of the chain? Let me see if I can see that there. See? And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to work all the way across until I finish my last stitch. My last stitch will be here on that last little stitch there. And if you're short one or you half, don't worry. This is not going to make a big difference because we're just going to roll it up. Okay, so don't get excited, too stressed about it. I'm going to finish this until I get to the end. One, two, three. And then we'll come back and we'll start working on the petals. Three, one, two, and three. Just like that. All the way across. So you're going to have the base, your first row is going to have the half double crochets and then the next one's going to have the little stitches just like that. I don't know why this is not focusing right guys. I'm so sorry. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. Then we'll come back and start working on the petals. Three loops. I go through two. Then the next two. Two. Three. And then my last one here is going to be a half double crochet. Just like that. Okay. So I have a half double crochet, three double crochets, followed by a half double crochet. And then here, I'm going to do one single crochet because that first little chain, I counted it as one stitch. So now here, let me give you the full count to repeat. You're going to do that in every single one till you get to that stitch marker. That will be your last set. So let me see. Maybe I should put it a little bit closer so you could see what I'm doing. Let me so here now to move into the next one, I'm going to go into the next space, do a single crochet. This is the repeat. Single crochet, double crochet, and three double crochets. One, pull through the next, two, three. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet. and a single crochet. Okay, so that is our smaller little petals there. Let me get some more yarn here, guys. Hang on a second. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit further because it's not really very um, focused here. So now for the next one, once again, single crochet, half double crochet, oops, excuse me, through all three, did I do that right? Let me do that again. I'm sorry, I got confused. Half double crochet, pull through all three. Three double crochets next. One, two, three. Half double crochet, and single crochet. So I'm going to repeat that in my next. Uh, spaces here one, two, three, four, five. So uh, here I'm going to next single crochet, followed by a half double crochet, followed by three double crochets, followed by one half double crochet, and a single crochet. So repeat that in every one of these stitches, and then I'll come back and we'll work on our next section. 
Okay, so I finished my first set, my first little one-third of my petals here with the smaller ones. So now here for my second second uh, section here, I'm going to eliminate the single crochet. So let me take off my stitch marker because now I'm going to repeat the same thing I do here. I'm going to repeat in every single chain three space until I get to here where my next stitch marker is. I do my last set here and then here I will make it even bigger. So here what I'm going to do is no more single crochet in the beginning. This is the pattern for the next spaces. Yarn over, you do a double, excuse me, you yarn over and you do a half double crochet just like that. And now I'm going to do five double crochets. So yarn over, go in, three left there, pull through the first two, then the next two. That's our first double crochet. I'm going to do four more because I want five double crochets. I'm making my petals bigger. So here I have one, two, three. Let me get some more yarn, guys. This is when I need a helper. Okay, so there's three, four, and five. Now I'm going to finish with a half double crochet. Okay. So my pattern for my next sets here is half double crochet followed by five double crochets and then one half double crochet at the end. That's my next petal. So I'm going to repeat that in every space till I get to my next stitch marker. So here once again I'm going to yarn over, half double crochet, five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. And now to finish my petal, half double crochet. I'm going to repeat that in every chain three space here until I do my last set there. So go ahead and repeat that. Half double crochet followed by five double crochets and finishing with a half double crochet all the way to the end. And then I will come back and we'll work on the last section, the last third of our petals. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If you need to scoot these over a little bit, you can. And then you're going to finish with a half double crochet. You're going to repeat that in every petal and now you see how much wider this petal is this than this one and then how much wider so if you look at them put them side by side you could see that every set this was the smallest and the medium than the large okay because the small one is going to be in the beginning of your um, of your flower in the middle okay so I'm trying to get some yarn out here guys without making a mess so you're going to repeat that every uh, in every space so here once again I just do a half double crochet pull through all three and then I might need to scoot this over a little bit and then seven double crochets one two three four five six, seven, and then I'm going to finish with a half double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in every single space that I have left here. And then when I finish here, I'm just going to, after my half double crochet, I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. Leave a tail maybe this long that I can sew in my tails. Okay, so go ahead and finish that and then we'll come back and then we'll put, I know this, this doesn't look like much right now, but this strip will then become our flower and you can make it bigger by how tightly or smaller by how tightly we wind it up and I'll show you how we do that when we come back okay so I finished working all the petals and I know it looks like a lot because there are a lot so now what you're going to do I'm going to be sewing this part here not the petals the petals will remain free and all you need to do is start turning it like this okay and you can uh, control the size of the 
flour but how tightly or loosely you uh, roll this. So what you're going to do here, I have my needle with the matching yarn in my um, yarn needle so it doesn't hurt. I'm going to start rolling this up right there and then once I do that for a few of them I'm going to go through all the layers. See, so I'm going through here, here, and here. Really that little end there. And then I'm going to go back. Just grabbing all my tape, my little sides there. I'm going to get this in here. And remember, this is in the back of the hat. So if you, I mean, that back of the flower. So if you're going to sew the in um, back uh, the little pin here or if you're just going to sew it directly onto something you don't have to be too worried about how it's going to come out so here's my first one see how the petals are loose but this is sewn that's the part you want to get so once you start doing a few rows like once I do that there you can see how that's tight going to go there and you want to keep going across all the row, all the layers, see from here to here, all the way there to make sure you get it there. You're not sewing the petals. Now, once you start doing it, um, it starts getting bigger here. Let me move that little tail out of the way. I'm just trying to show you how I do it. Once it starts getting like a little bit more, then I'm gonna just gonna turn it like this and start making it more this way, like flatter. Okay. So my yarn is here. I want to make sure I get that other piece out there just like that. So all we're sewing here now is the back of that little tail there. And you just gotta kinda make sure you grab all the sides, all the layers. Here's this. All the way across, and you're just gonna have to. I'm just start. I start making it kind of flatten it out a little bit. Go through here, and then instead of going up and down, now I'm gonna be making it flatter. Just wrapping it around like this, flat, flattening it out. Okay, so here. I'm going to grab and that's all you do it's just now this piece has to be sewn on so I'm going around the edge to make sure I get this flower there so yeah, there's there we go and that's all you're gonna do now when I spin this one around it's starting to look flatter see the other side so here, and you could turn it around to see how it's looking. Right there. I'm going to get this there. And just go through my little layers there. This is the new layer I'm putting on. So I want to make sure that I'm getting it on there. And this is all you're going to be doing. So I got that there. Roll the next layer over just like this. See how I'm making it kind of flatter? And this is what it looks like on the other side. And if you want, I think I might pull oh, that's okay. Pull this little bit middle in there a little bit down because that's kind of sticking up a little bit, but it's not a problem because I can just grab my needle and pull it through. I'll show you how I do that in the end. But this is how it's starting to look. See? Just from rolling it wrapping it around, not rolling it, but now I'm just, when I first started I rolled it and now I'm just kind of laying it flatter. Just keeping track of where my needle is. So here, where is this here? And you can control how tight, you can make this tighter or you can make it looser and it'll affect the size of the flower. You can make it bigger. Just make sure that you grab, I got that layer here, I'm grabbing to my next see these and this is a new layer and you may need to thread your needle more than once I try to kind of get them all the same but sometimes and then once in a while you go through all the layers just to make sure it's not falling apart on you see there we go and I'm gonna go around you 
lift it up. See, that's not sewn there, so I know I need to. I mean, this side is not sewn. Not that I lifted up the wrong side, guys. Sorry. Just kind of get them all in there. Make sure they're all together. Okay, and this one. Okay, that little piece still needs to be sewn right there. So now you see what it's looking like. See that? On the other side, that's how it's coming out. I'm just sewing on here. I'm leaving the petals free. So then I just continue. I hope I'm not boring you. So here's my next layer. There's my yarn. Don't put it up here. You want to lay it next to where... See how this is our previous row? You're just laying it there so that we continue sewing. So here... I'm going to go through my next layer, grab them there, I'm sewing here, it's not, I'm just going to lay it flat, and if, like I said, once in a while I go through several rows just to kind of anchor it more, this is not going to show, it's on the bottom, okay, so here, this helps hold it there in place. I may need to get more yarn. I'm almost at the end. But see now, don't put it up here. Just continue laying it. Now here's the next row. And then the last ones is where I lay it flat, the flattest, just like that. So it's making a curly cue almost. Almost done, guys. I just wanted to show you how I get it nice and flat, just like that. I'm almost at the end. And you can adjust it with your hands. See if I could get a little bit closer. So see, these are all the rows that I've sewn together. Oh, good. I think I may be able to get to the end. Don't sew the petals. The petals need to remain free. We're just sewing on that little um, half double crochet road we made. And that gives us a good place to anchor it. So here are my tails. I'm going to sew some of these in to hide them. But this is where I had these here. So I'm going to get the end, bring it down there so that it's, I don't want this just hanging out there kind of loose. I'm going to bring in the last tail here, the last little stitches, and I'm going to anchor those down there. Just like that. And now I could sew, I mean, tie these together just to finish it off. There should be three little strands. And then these, if you want, it's in the back. We can kind of sew, what do you call these? Sew these into place. If I could get this through the needle. And then you're just going to, with your tails, kind of just wiggle it in and out. Just so they're not hanging out everywhere. And just pull it through. Now it went through there. Cut that up. Making sure you don't cut the rest of your of your flower. And don't be too worried about this because this is going to be in the back. You just don't want it to stick out when you're sewn it on something. Same thing with your last little tail there. Okay. And if you want to adjust it with your fingers, you can. So this one got a little bit away from me in the beginning here. So let me adjust it with my hands. Get this all fixed up. Okay, so this one is okay. This one is a little bit loose. So I'm going to, if you like that, this actually doesn't look bad at all. Let me go back. 
just looks like a flower but this one I had it more twirled so you could even leave it like this or if you want it flatter see how you can move them around so this one I don't know I'm kind of liking the way it looks like that I might just adjust it like that so here is the flower this one came out a little bit bigger because I sewed it a little bit looser this one I sewed it tighter so that's what I'm saying this one is so they're not going to be all exactly the same because depending on the tension this one's a little bit over four inches and this one's about a quarter of an inch maybe an eighth of an inch a little bit bigger so that's how you do it if you have these little pins and you could sew these on in the back and use it to put it on a flower or whatever you want you just sew it on there if you don't want to do that then you just sew your whole flower here using these little stitches don't hold you know like maybe put a stitch here 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 and here and then you would sew it onto your item but the thing about this if you sew it on then when you want to wash it it might like lose its shape and all that so that's why I prefer to put them on these little pins it's totally up to you and then of course if you're gonna put it on the pin you would just sew the pin on you know nothing fancy or this one's kind of small because I have bought this these little ones to make these kind of little flowers or little petals with the little bonbons and these little bonbons come out like this um, I saw the these have like eight different colors and that way if you're just gonna be making embellishment like flowers or hearts you don't have to make buy a whole skein you could just buy these little bonbons and then they have them from regular colors too so I'm gonna make a tutorial to show you how to make this flower I don't know if that's done the same way but I'm gonna show you two different ways of making little flowers and you could also make little hearts right now that it's Valentine's like this and then embellish a little hat so that is all you do here to get your little flower going um, I'm gonna sew on this pin but that is totally optional sorry guys I think the camera shut off I don't know why so you just put your pin in wherever you're gonna do it if you want to put it here or in the middle I'm just gonna do it in the middle here grab grab it there and I'm just gonna leave that tail there come over just grab it there go into your next space oh okay uh oh I went over the pin let me move this here mistake mistake people say why don't you just edit out your errors so you could see that I make errors so here I don't want to grab that block I guess it's easier if you open the little pin when you're sewing this so and what I mean by that is like you couldn't open this little pin here so that you don't get it caught usually I don't do it because I don't want to poke myself there get this here and like I said you don't even have to use a pin I just like to use a pin because these flowers are pretty big and when you wash the garment you don't want it to fall apart so then once I put it in there I'm going to go back here and just make a knot and this one I'm not even going to hide the, the thread because it's in the back trim it off and your flower let me open this up is ready to be used I'm just gonna adjust that and that's it your flower is done so this one like you can just use this flower if you want don't want it this big you could um, use less chains to cast off but I like to want it to be nice and chunky I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to subscribe hit the like button share my video with your friends and family help me grow my channel look at how neat that is it's a nice chunky 3d flower have a great day and remember always that God loves you